Are races genetically defined? This study attempted to answer that question. They looked at 1300 markers and they looked at people all around the world and different populations and especially various populations in, in Africa where the original human population emerged. And they looked at how similar the genetic composition of those populations is. If race was genetically defined, what you would expect is that as you plot the genetic composition of those populations, individuals from the same population will cluster together and, in, and separate from individuals from different populations. So you will be able to separate individuals from each race from individuals from other races. And the variation within individuals in one population or in one racial group will be lower than variation between individuals of different groups. So there will be a clear separation of each of these groups. However, this is not what the study found. What the study found instead is here. This is a population from East Africa, Sub-Saharan African, African Americans, people from mixed ancestry. These are Western Eurasians, so this includes Western Europeans and uh, Eurasians and Saharan Africans, and they are not distinguishable from one another. But these are populations that in our societal interpretation of race will belong to different races, but here they're completely indistinguishable. We also have this group of uh, Central and Southern Eurasians, Oceanians. These are people from Australia. Eastern Asians and Native Americans, again, are undistinguishable. And what you see here is people that belong into what society will call different races are actually very similar to each other genetically, while people that we will consider from the same race can be quite different from other people in the same race. If you look at one person from this group with an uh, individual from the same group over here, the difference between them is much higher than the difference of, of these three individuals that belong to different groups and they're clustering very close together. There is not a real genetic evidence for race, although we do see a gradient of differences in genetic composition of people that are mostly driven by the geographical location. So this makes sense because people that live close together are more likely to have descended from recent ancestry than people who live far apart, they're less likely to have shared a recent ancestor. So this is to say that you and your siblings are going to be more genetically similar than you and your cousins, but that doesn't mean that your cousins belong to a different race. So in conclusion, we cannot really use genetic evidence to support our ideas of racial differences. And there is more variation within individuals that are considered of the same race than with individuals that are considered from different races.